Hello, my name's Jason, and I'm a toolbox and a tool bag junkie. I can't help myself. I've got a lot of crap that I have to put in something. I've tried them all over the years, but today in this video, we're going to talk about the Apache series of boxes from Harbor Freight Tools and how well the largest one has held up as a toolbox for the past several months. So let's get started. You complete me! Okay guys, so we have talked about the Apache series of cases when I bought it. However, I had just purchased it. These are available from Harbor Freight. They introduced these, I don't know, what has it been about six months ago or so. Uh, it's, it's a direct copy of a Pelican style case. However, much cheaper. And when you get their super coupons, sometimes if you, if you watch closely, you can catch these marked down a good 10 or 12 dollars i paid 22 for this one and i think it's normally 32. this one's normally 39 and i think i paid 29 with a super coupon whatever they call it so watch your flyers if you're you know in the u.s and you have a harbor freight close by you know you know so um in my last video i didn't look it up and i don't i don't recall the video per se i'm i'm still used to talking into the camera and I'm using a different mic now, so sorry about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk this way. So, in uh, uh, that video, which is kind of up here in this link, uh, I talked about when I bought the largest size. I was gonna say larger, but the largest size. Um, this 2800 is the next size down. And in that video, I believe I recall I, I was switching from the rigid 22 inch short case that I had been using. Now this is a wonderful case. There's nothing wrong with this case. However, it was just a little bit too big for my taste. However, this is a wonderful case. Um, however, as I've notated in many videos before, the bigger the box, the more stuff you'll put in there and the heavier it gets. Now the one thing about these cases is the side handle. Being able to Put, put this vertically like this and my truck has been wonderful and then been able to pick it up by this handle was wonderful I still use one of these in my truck for heavy tools basically I use it for those tools that cost a lot of money to use in other words if I have to grab this box full of the tools in there out of my truck that means the customer has an issue that require specialty tools so in other words that box is the expensive box if i have to pull that box out of the truck yes it's it's expensive so it does a wonderful job but it's extremely heavy so then i switched to the apache 3800 and this has been ever since i don't whenever i uploaded that video is when i got it so i can't recall the exact dates the very first thing i did you know it comes with this top foam and it comes with the bottom foam and then it comes with your pick and plug where you can poke out and put in you know these are designed for like sensitive electronics but since i knew i was going to be using it for a toolbox this would get shredded i mean instantly so there's absolutely no point in uh <coughs> keeping that in there so i'm just going to go ahead and unload now it's extremely full right now and the only reason, one of the only main reasons I'm doing this is because I just cleaned it out. So any other time, this would have the free. When I'm on a job, this is pretty much most of the tools that I need to A, install a deadbolt. Okay, so in here is a spade desk. This was at a craft store. It fits uh, Irwin State that's wonderfully, but I have not been able to find it. And it was at Michael's that I found that. Not been able to find it again. Paper towels, um, you know, little stuff that I need as a locksmith to install door locks. So basically, I just keep a lot of these bits and stuff loose. It's really not great. I, I, I need to find a better solution for my chisels. I keep three or four chisels at any given time and uh, you know just like screws drill bits 
for installing the locks or repairing locks, mainly for repairing locks because uh, and installation, but and I also have some of these little Plano uh, boxes with various drill bits. Like this is my concrete bit box. And then I've got another one that's got drill and uh, uh, step bits and drill bits. Seals around. The boxes that you really need, especially if you're on the road or, and it stays in your vehicle. Um, I have to drive a van, but nevertheless, moisture to get any kind, any any of the moisture seal boxes. Um, this I just threw in there. Uh, bought it recently. Titanium drill bits and one of the new uh, can't remember whatever brand Husky uh, little mini plastic organizer kits. These things are only like five six dollars, y'all, and they are pretty freaking awesome. They've got a seal. Really good seal. My long screws, my shorter screws, strike plates, drill bit things, heavier screws. If you do it just right, you can have this box set up for um, carrying in. Um, so yeah, basically, and a roller in the bottom. So again, once I, this is my often have to do thing is, you know, dump it out. Because when I'm on a job and I sweep up with my tent brush and I don't have anywhere else to put it, I, just for speed and to get you know in and out of the customer's place, I'll just dump it in the toolbox and eventually, yes, I have to clean it. So again, that is everything that fits in this box. You can put it any number of ways, but just remember as you pick up and put it down, it's going to get all jumbled up. So I've gotten into the habit of putting stuff towards the back of the hinges, uh, the plastic bins, and putting all these in front so that when I pick it up and, I, and it goes that way when it's picked up, you are kind of hoping everything stays as good as it can where it needs to be. So. That is that one, and um, you know, as far as this, this review is really about the, you know, how it's done, I would give it a thumbs up. I mean, it's been a great, oh man, it's been a great box. It has held up. <clears throat> I would not use this for high dollar, high high dollar sensitive electronics because especially if you need to use this pressure thing that compared to the real deal on pelican brand cases is nothing this is just a screw that tightens down against this crappy little plastic washer in the back so if you need a reliable you know decompression type system don't, don't get this one get the pelican spend the extra money because that is one huge difference but as far as quality as far as it holding up uh, as far as it being uh, heavy when it's full, it has uh, done exactly what I needed it to do. So I give the Apache 3800 series a great big thumbs up. So the other day, a super coupon showed up on my little flyer for $22.99. So I was like, you know, that one worked well. So I'm going to go grab this one. And I'm going to probably do the same thing. However, as in my last video, which I will put a link at the end of this video to my last video, talking about my new microphone, I just realized that now that I've got it set up, I may very well use it for a microphone holder. Now the smaller size, interestingly enough, has two sets, two thin sets. That one had one super thick. This one has two sets plus a solid bottom. So solid bottom, one set of pick and pluck, and another set. So you could, if you had lightweight objects, you could pick and pluck, put it in just one layer, maybe, I don't know, and then another layer. Um, and then, of course, the top. So, which, all of this comes out because, you know, if I do not use this for my microphone, I will use this for tools of some other type.
So just out of curiosity, I want to see, I'm sure y'all are curious. Um, remember this is the DeWalt with the bigger battery. If you use a smaller drill or 12 volt, or if you use uh, one with a lithium battery, it is smaller. So, look at that, that fits perfectly. So if I was gonna transition this to that and go even smaller and assume that I wanted to put some of this stuff in here. This is that East Wing 12 ounce hammer, curved claw hammer. Uh, you know, if I went minimalistic, put that there, that there, did a uh, chisel, drill bits. I know, I know I'm blocking the camera, sorry about that. But basically, I'm just, just curious here what's going to happen. Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't close very good. It looks like I could possibly get this to work. Yeah, it's still a little tight. Um, let's just do one bit, spade bits, one chisel, and one container there. to take this one out of the equation because you're going to need drill bits or you could just do a smaller version of this where you have that closes let's put this back and our hammer okay that closes that to close but you would probably if you wanted to go with the smaller version of this you probably have to combine your drill bits and screws in there maybe use a slightly different scheme but that would work perfect again for a drill so <clears throat> Just depends on how much you need to carry. I felt like if I was gonna use that for a drill case, I would need to carry yet another case because that really is not enough stuff to do what I need to do because I uh, don't have a few drill bits and I do use this for a full installation kit. But anyway, that is my little discussion, probably my last discussion on the Apache series of protective, let's see, waterproof, that's a bold claim, waterproof protective cases available from Harbor Freight. You see its capabilities. I can stand by being tough enough to last at least three or four months being drug out of the car I'm waiting for the handle to break off. Hadn't happened yet, so hopefully it won't. But that is my tale of three cases. Rigid, biggest, 3,800, 2,800. And yes, I will probably end up getting the smallest one. However, I don't have a real need for the smallest one. So even if I do get their, their super coupon, I probably, I probably will go. I'll probably, I'll probably go get it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if y'all have any questions or comments, let me know. Otherwise, y'all have a great one, and we will catch you next video.